everybody, it's Felicia with Vintage Vine Marketing and welcome to today's Wine Wednesday. Today's how-tos are the top five tips to implement a successful digital marketing strategy. I just wanted to talk on the top five ways that you can really use your whole social media and digital marketing. The first tip is to choose the right social media platforms. Everybody thinks that when people say that the business is on social media that you have to be on every platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Yelp, I mean, the list is endless. But really what a business wants to do is hone in and be able to focus their posting and their content on just a few stronger platforms versus to have a few pieces of content on a lot of platforms. So my suggestion would be that you just need to focus your wineries, social media postings towards Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. My next tip would be to tidy up your social media accounts. I'm actually doing this for a client right now where they had a lot of different pages and it, what's really important is to have one page with one cohesive message because if you have lots of different pages, you can really confuse your customers and that's the last thing you wanna do as a business because if they're having to search for you and have to really dig to find you, they're gonna lose interest in you and that is something that wineries absolutely do not want. Before you even are able to meet these customers, you're already creating a disgruntled first impression because you have to think about it, your social media accounts is a very first impression that you're having with your clients. For my third tip, I wanted to emphasize on a tip that I had given in a previous film, which is to tell your story. Now there, you have to find a defining line between telling your story and selling your product. When you're actually trying to send clients to your checkout page on your website, you wanna be able to give them some relatable point to the product that they're buying. So you can tell them about the vintage that year, about the grapes, any kind of weather that you might have had, something that is pertinent information to the wine that they're buying in their cart at that time. My fourth tip would be to emphasize with your audience. Now this is very important for wineries to emphasize with their audience because this is a digital world. And so a lot of times businesses, especially wineries, are trying to spread their reach. And really all that does for you is it wastes your budget. What you want to do is you wanna make sure that you're emphasizing to the right targets and to your right audience. When you are doing a wine tasting dinner, you want to be able to market that wine tasting dinner to people who you know are going to be able to spend that kind of money to attend that dinner. My last tip would be to never give up. Social media is really hard. I know that it seems like it should be very easy. And when you're on your personal Facebook page, it's very easy to scroll through your news feed or to connect with your family members or friends to use social media for your business, it's hard. And it comes with a lot of trials and errors and fails and you have to kind of wash, rinse and repeat because if something doesn't work, you have to go to the phrase of try, try again. I would encourage my wineries that you should never give up. Never give up on trying to learn social media. I don't want any of my wineries to feel discouraged or ever want to give up because the end goal, of course, is we want a thriving winery industry. If I can give one tip that you can hold on to, I would say to never give up. Putting out really good content on being aggressive with your marketing. Learn and adapt how new changes on social media can affect and promote your winery to bring more people in to make it a very successful year for you. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of Wine Wednesday. Please tune in next week for your next set of tips and tricks of the trade.